Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to draw this awesome hexagon pattern and we will do it both in the manual way and create a pattern swatch inside Adobe Illustrator. I'm Kent and this is Diagraphics. So here we are in Illustrator and the first thing we want to do is make sure that our drawings is very accurate. So we need to go to the transform panel down in the bottom and if it isn't open you can go to window and find it under transform right here. So go to the transform panel, go to this drop down right here and make sure to uncheck align new objects to pixel grid. With this out of the way, we can start drawing. So the first thing we need to draw is a hexagon. And this is very simple because there's a tool for it called the polygon tool. And with the polygon tool selected, simply hold down the shift key and draw a small hexagon. And the polygon tool will draw a hexagon by default, but if yours isn't, click up or down on the arrow keys to add more or less edges to the polygon until it's a hexagon. So make sure to hold down the shift key and release the mouse button. Now we have our first hexagon. Now go to the selection tool and while holding down the alt key to duplicate, simply drag down the hexagon while holding down the shift key to make sure you drag it down in a straight line. Drag it down until it snaps to the bottom. Now to duplicate this step, Simply click Ctrl D and you can create as many duplicates as you want. The more duplicates, the bigger the pattern in the end. So now we need to create another row of hexagons. So select all the hexagons and unfortunately we cannot just duplicate and drag it down right here. As you can see we don't have the guidelines so we cannot make sure it's perfectly straight. So what we do instead is select all the hexagons, then go to the rotate tool and double click the rotate tool. Then in the angle field, type in 30 degrees and click OK. This will rotate the hexagons by 30 degrees and now we can go to the selection tool and hold down the ALT key to duplicate, then drag a copy while holding down the shift to make sure it drags straight and then simply just drag until it snaps. And as you can see beneath my cursor, there's some green lines indicating that it's vertically and horizontally straight. Then release the mouse key. And to duplicate this step, once again, Click Ctrl D. So now when the pattern is as big as you want, select all the hexagons and go to stroke width and select a width that you like. The color of the strokes doesn't matter because we will delete the strokes to make clear space between the hexagons. Just make sure the stroke color is a different color from the fill color. So now if you want a pattern swatch from the hexagons, you need to do this next small step but if you only want a manual pattern, you can skip ahead to find out how to delete the strokes. So if you want to create a pattern swatch, do this small step. First, create a new layer. Then go to the rectangle tool. And on this new layer, go to one of these anchor points right here. And draw a square from this anchor point and all the way down to this anchor point right here. Then drag down all the way down to this anchor point right here. Then delete the fill. And the reason why we create this rectangle is so we can make a pattern tile that is repeatable. So as you can see, we cut off the top of this hexagon right here because we have the top down here. So when we repeat the pattern vertically, the top will be moved up to the top right here. And the same goes for the sides. We only keep the right side of this hexagon because we have the left side of the hexagon right here. When using this rule to figure out where to put the square, you can see we could actually move the square all the way to here, for example, and it will still work because the pattern is still repeatable. So create the square as big as you want. The only reason you would want a bigger square is if you want to include more colors in the pattern swatch. So it's up to you how big you want your pattern. When the square is created, simply go down to layers and uncheck the visibility for the square. We will create the pattern swatch in a moment, but first we need to delete the strokes to make clear space between the hexagons. So now select all the hexagons and give the hexagons the fill color that you want. You can change this later if you want. Now with all the hexagons selected, go to object and select expand. Then make sure fill and stroke is selected and click OK. Then go down to the Pathfinder menu. If the Pathfinder menu isn't open, go to window and select the Pathfinder menu right here. So go to Pathfinder and select trim. Then right click the hexagons and click ungroup. Now the hexagons are basically separated. So the easiest way to delete all the strokes is select one of the strokes, go to select, then go to same and click fill color. 
And this is why we chose another color for the stroke than for the fill. It simply selected everything that was the same color as the stroke I chose. So now we can simply click the delete key on the keyboard. Now if you only want the manual way, this is basically it and you can start coloring the hexagons. Just as you like. But if you want to create the pattern swatch, we just need to do a few simple steps. So undo this coloring. Select all the hexagons. Right click the hexagons and click group. Then go down to the layer with the rectangle and toggle the visibility for the rectangle. Then select the rectangle and remove the color of the stroke. This is making the rectangle invisible. So now choose both the hexagons and the rectangle and simply go down to the pathfinder menu and click crop. And this crops out the repeatable tile. Now simply grab the tile and move it over to swatches. And now we have a pattern swatch from the hexagons. This means that you can now create any shape you like. Select the fill and select the pattern swatch. So now if you want to color the pattern swatch, simply double click the pattern swatch, select one of the tiles and give this one a color. And as you can see, it repeats it all the way around. So with this, you can get very creative. And now a quick but very useful bonus tip. If you only want one color for your hexagons, that's a very quick and much simpler way to do the pattern swatch. And I will show you this one very quickly right now. So delete this one, go to the polygon tool, hold down the shift key to draw the polygon and give it a uniform color. Then you can simply go to object, go to pattern, go to make, then go to tile type and select hex by column. Then select size tile to art and define the spacing right here. Then simply click done. Now we have a very simple hexagon pattern right here. As you can see, if I just create a rectangle and put the hexagon tile. I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.